down to the ground. He's gonna go to, the sun is gonna go down about two hours, two and a half hours. Wow, what a great opening introduction that was. While this is Israel, I wanted to do some narration on the remainder of this video. We're standing, that's me right there. We're standing at the start line of the Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc TDS race. It's one of the main races for UTMB. That's Neil of Extreme Energy. He puts on quite a few good races in the UK. But we're standing with about 1,400 other runners getting ready to run 112 kilometers or about 72 miles over the Italian Alps into France and finish the next day in France. So right now, like you said, there's about a couple minutes to go. They're playing Robin Hood. And I just, I love that clip with that guy. He's just standing there like in the zone. He's just, oh, so ready for the race. Um, one of the things I kind of noticed here is with all the music and everything going on, Look, everyone's just kind of standing there, just ready to go. They're not really jumping up and down. and they, It's a serious task that everybody has ahead of them. And it's just kind of, I think it's a little bit different than the normal marathon that you would see. So, anyway, they're we're just standing there, getting ready to go. The obligatory helicopter. Attention, please. One minute to stop. And so then, oh yeah, then they're ready to go. Pirates of the Caribbean. feet. We've gone five or six miles and look at that. As far as you can see, people just going up, up, up. And then, and then, I mean, Um, and you do not cut, everybody will yell at you, but no, this is awesome, I'm loving it. And so, 
Look at this. Here's the one ahead. Okay. I just made it to the top. We're at 8,746 feet. Had about a 20, 30, or 40 minute delay waiting, but slowly climb, and now we're going back down to, uh, I don't know, but this is it. All right, we're somewhere around 20, 21 miles, and uh, it's been cold, rainy, frozen, and uh, it's been windy. Got another hill to climb, and it's down for a long way, and so, yeah, that's about it. Up in the Alps, I'm at 7,000 feet, so pretty high. Alright, for the first time in eight hours, it stopped raining. Um, and it also, coincidentally, co whatever, I am running at the 11. And then, I don't know, it's just gradual downhill, and I'm able to kind of run somewhat. So, I don't know, probably have some bad spots later, and I'll probably be mad. According to my watch, I've done 30 and a half miles, but this is supposed to only be 28, so I don't know where I got two and a half miles from. Around, um, I have like a 7,000 foot climb to do now, so I'm not looking forward to it. I'm starving, I'm uh, in mean, a meat soup and bread and crackers, that's about it, so uh, at least it's not last yet. Oh. And my legs. My um, my shins hurt. I think it was from the the walking the last about three or four miles. It was pretty flat. Actually, it was a descent for about eight and a half miles. I enjoyed the first four, but the last part was a little bit. I don't know. I don't like it, but anyway, the sun is going to go. The sun is going to go down in about two hours, two and a half hours. Not really looking forward to it, but. <laughs> Oh well. Hi! This is Israel. I am um, at 7,700 feet somewhere in the Alps and I guess I've gone 36 miles or 35 or 34. Um, uh, I think this is going to be the last video because it's too dark to video anymore after this, so um, that from the last point that I filmed, that was at 5:30 in the afternoon. It is now 8:20 something, and uh, I believe I probably made one of the fastest ascents. It was we went from 2,600 feet to 7,700, so 5,000 feet in just under three hours, and I booked booked it. And I believe I am pretty sure I'm gonna go back and look later. Pretty sure I passed at least 150 people, maybe 200. I don't know, but nobody passed me. The person you just saw going past me was just the person. So anyway, I think we're going back down. We have four miles to the next checkpoint, and this is the Alps. Um, just came out up, up there. Maybe we're getting the lights on, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, this is Israel back again. This was just something I n noticed during the race while I was there, and even watching it later. You don't hear any sounds. Nobody's talking. Here we're about 40-something miles, I believe, into the race, and approaching midnight. It's not raining hard, but the ground is just muddy. But um, it's just a different dynamic than other races or ultras that um, I've experienced and I think the main reason actually was the language barrier. Um, there were 74 different nationalities there. Of course most spoke English, oh, sorry most spoke French or Italian and um, I spoke English and there was just everything there and 
didn't really talk much throughout the race. I didn't really talk to anybody. But here we're just climbing, and this is just what you do for hours and hours. You just climb. And people wonder why our times are so slow. This is a crossing. Uh, so good. so dangerous and so scary, but, um, oh, it looks like moving again. It's been so muddy. Um, that's it, just all mud. And, uh, yeah, it was muddy. <laughs> yeah. This is we're actually heading up to the, what we're doing, one of the main checkpoints. Anyway. And between that clip and this clip here, you can see, uh, about three hours have elapsed yeah. at that last uh, checkpoint over two. Here's me. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Israel. Israel, yeah. Ah, it doesn't mean. Okay. It doesn't mean. Huh? Yes. The finisher. Me? What? I'm sorry. What? How are you? Uh, um, ah, that's not a rock. That's not a rock. And I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, earlier, there was a river kind of like, I can't really see it, but sorry. It's a huge river, and it's about six to eight inches deep, and no one had a bridge. No one had... Okay, hey, still there! Hello. Hello. later. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry. This is the den in my post. Alright, I'm back in Germany. Um, I have energy, but I have to go uh, clean up and take a shower and stuff and get rid of my wet soap muddy clothes. I was here, what, two days ago? So anyway, uh, yeah. <sighs> it's 7 a.m. Friday. So sadly, I guess that's kind of how my race ended. I wasn't, ex um, I don't know what actually happened there at uh, Le Guit. Um, if I was supposed to be taking off the the trail or not. Um, I'll probably go back and rewatch, rewatch some of this stuff, but um, maybe I was supposed to. I don't really know. I was completely confused. And looking back at the checkpoint, the next, uh, the next one was six hours away. And I don't know. I thought for sure I would have had it. Anyway, this is uh, later on the, the day, the same morning, there's the um, North Face. UTMB start. Everybody's getting ready. Um, I was actually here a couple minutes before the start. I had to leave to catch my plane just right after the start of UTMB. So I had to get catch a ride um, back to the airport to Geneva and fly out and fly right to work. I actually went to work the next morning, 7 a.m. I was there. Yep. Looks like I'll be back, 2013. Either the CCC or Tour de Jean's race. See you there in Chamonix.